Hey yo, booktube. Um, how you doing? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's that's some good stuff there. Um, I just wanted to give you a little update on what I've been reading. What I've been reading. <laughs> um, I didn't have the first, I thought I did, but after looking around, um, I didn't have, so I did the ebook of, um, the Insidious, uh, Dr. Fu Manchu or the Mysterious Fu Manchu, depending on what country you live in. But, um, this is the second book, um, The Return of Dr. Fu Manchu. Now look at Sax Romer there. What is he doing? He's smoking a pipe and he's in like a silk kimono or something. <sighs> Weird. Um, but I wanted to talk about that first book because I was under the impression that it was going to be like, like really overtly racist and, um, ridiculous and, um, I just wasn't like thinking I was, it was going to be very good. I just thought it would be like a fun read just to see, <clears throat> um, what this was about and everything. And although I didn't love it at the start because if you recall I have started that book numerous times and um couldn't get past like the first chapter um but I just once you hit a certain point in it it just becomes so exciting and it's not halfway through it's a little bit before that um but it's just like your typical pulp adventure it's like like doom doom like every like every time you think something just got bad it's just gonna get worse in a couple pages kind of thing and um at the rate that that happened, <clears throat> I thought as a story, it held together pretty much okay. But when you think of like all of the things that went down, um, it's almost shocking that all of that happened in such a short amount of time. But um, the thing that like stuck out the most, I think, what again this was written in like 1913 1914 um was well two things one yes this basically started the yellow peril um genre but i think honestly um i thought tales of chinatown came out before that another it's like a sax romer um kind of short story collection if I recall that right but I think that came out first but um I guess this Fu Manchu book was the thing that like really got it going but um yeah like the plot is this guy who's like this detective um kind of a cop um, I, I don't think I really understood who the hell he worked for. Um, but he was in Burma and, um, was trying to, um, destroy this murder group. Um, and they even call it the Yellow Peril. I don't know if that was, like, the name of, like, their gang or what, like... That part was always a little weirder. Their syndication, um, or syndicate. Um, so that was kind of weird. 
But um, the point of this group is basically at the end of the day, world domination is like the best way to put it. Um, but at the time, <clears throat> they don't really know that. Um, but they talk about it as um, Fu Manchu is coming and his, like, him being in England is a threat to the white race and all that stuff. And that's the part where it gets, like, a little, like, eeg um, when they say things like that. But um, it, it wasn't... How do I say this? Because it is awful, but it, like awful when you think about that stuff but it wasn't like like we hate Asians and slur 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 um so that was just <clears throat> I thought it was going to be way more like that um so I was glad that it wasn't um but the character Fu Manchu is actually kind of cool like I've seen like the Boris Karloff um, Fu Manchu movie, um, but, like, the way he is, and the way he's described in this book, is so, like, for example, I don't want to give stuff away, but he is visually striking, um, so, He's got the Fu Manchu mustache, and um, he's super tall, um, kind of gaunt, but um, and his eyes are like green, um, just like when they describe him, it's almost like they're always in awe, like uh, uh kind of deal. And at the end of the book, I'm not going to tell you what happens, but he does certain things that, for a villain, you're like, what? Like, why did he do that? And it's not, like, stupid. This is, like, the worst book review I've ever done, by the way. Um, I'm really sorry that I can't seem to get my um, words together here. <clears throat> but he does stuff, it, like, he respects the people who are trying to, like, destroy him, basically. And... Um, kind of goes out of his way-ish to um, show his respect for the... It's just so weird. Like, it made his character a lot more intriguing. Like, when I was reading it, it was an okay book. Like, it was good, whatever. But once the end of the book happens and you see how he is, it is making me want to immediately go to the next book. Um, Cause I want to read more about him. The main characters, um, Smith is the guy from Burma. Um, and here's his name's like Dennis Nayland Smith. And they always like refer to him as Nayland. And that drives me crazy. Like, the most, like, obscure name out of his name is what they're going to refer to him as. But um, the doctor in it is um, Dr. Petri, and he's pretty cool. Like, uh, it's kind of like a Holmes and Watson kind of thing, but um, Smith or Nayland or whatever is n not Sherlock Holmes. He's like... Um, I don't even want to say he's more James... He kind of is more James Bond. Like, he um, finds stuff out and then puts himself in danger and then gets, like, captured or gets fucked or something, like... And then he has to figure a way out of it. And um, I think Dr. Um, Petri is a little more... <sighs> Oh, 
dead air. He's a little more with it, I think, than Watson. Because Watson is always like, oh, wow, whoa, whoa. And Petri's like, getting shit done kind of thing. So, <clears throat> anyway. Um, I am looking forward to that. Um, I've been reading more of the Blood and Thunder Guide to Pulp Fiction. I'm digging that. Um, it's kind of more of a history. Like, the first part I read was more about collecting and, like, um, what you should be collecting and... Um, what the different grades of the pulp magazines are, but now it's getting more into the history, which is what I like. So, um, hopefully that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really getting into this whole, like, early to mid 20th century literature stuff. Um, if any of you know of a good book, or even a documentary or something that is like really goes in depth about um, early to mid 20th century literature. I would love to know what that is. I would love to check it out. Um, I'm going to be starting Beasts of Tarzan, um, which is the third book. This book is basically um, about Tarzan getting a group of animals together with one of his buddies and going after some dude that kidnapped his wife and son. So it seems kind of like a, like, like a buddy cop movie or something, but it's going to be a group of lunatics basically, um, trying to take down the asylum if that makes any sense. So that'll be fun. I started uh, listening to Chess Men of Mars because I don't have that book in the Barsoom series. Um, and I'm, I just started it like while I was waiting for all of my computer stuff to get going. <sighs> so I guess that's it on that. <clears throat> as far as uh, <clears throat> my um, blog goes, um, today's Monday, so the first uh, bit of Welcome to Black Star Canyon went up. So that book is a, it was a fake tour guide I made about um, my story about Black Star Canyon, and then it is interspersed with history and stuff about the real Black Star Canyon, which um, is this uh, canyon uh, near where I grew up, um, in Orange County. And, um, so, and that was always really weird, which is why I wrote about it. But so there's like real stuff and fake stuff. And, um, so today was, um, a note from the mayor and an introduction from the town historian. And tomorrow is going to be like the history and points of interest. And, um, then local legends might be Wednesday and then Thursday is um, like restaurants and lodging, but all the ads of the local businesses and stuff. And um, hopefully Friday I'll be able to get the map in there of the town. Um, I found a copy of the the map and it's so pixelated so I have to like dig through stuff and try to find um, a really good map so um, all that's it mountwallwrites.com and I guess that's it um, but let me know if you've read any of these and what you think and about that um, if there's a good book about that um, the early to mid 20th century literature and I'll let you know how Barsoom, Tarzan, and Fu Manchu are going. Um, I'll probably start Conan pretty soon. And I want to start Flowers in the Attic. Um, and I also really want to go back and get caught up on the Quarry books. 
and the Travis McGee books. So we'll see how this week goes. I have some stuff going on. On a personal note, um, I got some news from the Berkman's Comp people and um, the insurance company people, and I'm kind of livid, so I think I'm just going to get a lawyer or something and have them deal with it because it has kind of made me uh, wonky today. I'm having like a really hard time pulling back and um, just kind of talking to you guys and being normal. Um, it's really frustrating. So, um, but all in all, um, everything's cool. And so I will be talking to you guys soon. Um, later.